You may have noticed myself and a good handful of other video creators out there using this kind of pop-up text animation. It's a really simple thing that gives a little bit of life to your text instead of just having it appear out of nowhere. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can do this with your own text. But if you get to the end and you decide that you'd rather save yourself the headache and you don't wanna have to do this every time that you want this effect on your text, I've also created a pack of drag and drop titles for DaVinci Resolve that includes five different extremely useful variations of this pop on text effect that you can get at the link down in the description. So secure the cup and let's get popping. All right, so first things first, this is the pack that I'm talking about. We've got five different pop-on effects. We've got one that pops on all the way from nothing. Then we've got one that pops on from just a little bit smaller, a little bit quicker, and I'll explain why that's useful in a bit. Then we've got one that pops on word by word. Then we've got one that pops on letter by letter. And finally, we've got one that kind of pops on in a slightly different way, a little bit more bouncy than the others. But let's delete those and start from scratch. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go down into our effects. So if you're not seeing that, you're gonna have to click up here to get to effects. And what we're gonna wanna do is find our text. So I'm just going to type in text under toolbox and we're going to grab a text plus and that's going to be important uh, if we want to go into fusion and use the fusion controls. So the first way that we can do this animation is right here in the edit page. Don't have to go into fusion or anything. So easy. Let's go over to layout under our inspector. So that's up here. This is the same place that we're adding the words for our title. So we're going to go over to layout. I'm going to make sure that my cursor is over on the first frame of my title and that my title is highlighted down here. I'm going to hit keyframe. So I'm adding a keyframe there. I'm gonna go over by four frames. So one, two, three, four, just by hitting the right arrow. And then I'm gonna add another keyframe. Now I'm gonna go back by one frame. So hitting the left arrow to go one. I'm gonna change this to 1.1. Then I'm going to keep going back to the start again where that first keyframe was. And I'm gonna change that to zero. And now, We've got that little bounce. It's that easy. And so if you wanna copy this a bunch, you can just hold Alt or Option and drag it over. And then you can change the text if you want. Change that to one more time and we can do bounce bounce again. So that's basically the easiest way that we can do this right in the edit page. No easing, no nothing. We're just going a little bit beyond where we want it to end up and then coming back. So it gives it that bouncing look. And there's a reason why I decided to do this in the layout page rather than doing it either in transform or in settings. What I find is that in the layout page, now I can move this around. So if I want to move this down, it still looks like it comes in from that area. Whereas if we did the exact same thing, let's say we went and just zeroed all this out, got rid of those keyframes. Okay, so we're just back to a regular title now. So if we go up to settings, we can use our transform controls here and change this to zero, set a keyframe, go over by one, two, three frames, set it to 1.1, then go over one more frame, set it to one and it's automatically creating those keyframes there for me so now we have that same effect as long as our text is in the center now if we go back to our title here and if we let's say move this down see how it kind of pops in from the center so that's why i prefer to do it under layout rather than doing it in settings now, method number two to achieve basically the same thing is to dive into Fusion. So with our same text open there, we can click on Fusion. Then we've got literally the same controls in Fusion. So we can perform the same kind of move here. So in the Fusion page, what we can do is go to our first frame and we can set a keyframe. Again, we've got these same controls over here. So we're just in the layout page. All I'm gonna do is set that keyframe on the first frame here, set it to zero. Then I'm gonna go over to frame four and I'm gonna set it to one. Now this is slightly different. We're gonna let our easing, our kind of 
uh, spline do some of the work of that bounce for us. And this is a, a slightly nicer look, I find. So we're going to open up our spline here. If you don't see it, you gotta click this. And then I'm gonna click on this little arrow here that goes in both directions just to show us all of our moves. If for whatever reason you're not seeing this, you may need to actually click on the template to show it. I'm gonna highlight both of these points. So this is our zoom in from zero to one. And then all I'm gonna do is right click on this point I'm gonna choose ease and then this outback cubic. And you can see right there, it's created this bounce that goes beyond and then comes back. And that looks something like this. There's our bounce. And you can choose how quickly you want it to go by making it a little bit longer maybe. That's looking pretty good though. So that's kind of the two different ways that you can do the very basic version of this. The next version of this is very similar to that first one. The only difference is that it doesn't start from zero. So what I mean by that is that the first frame, the text is actually on the screen. It's just at 0.7 instead of all the way down to zero. And if we go to layout here, you'll notice it starts at 0.7. And then if we go over by frames, next frame, it's a little bit past one, then it's turning around and then we're back at one. So it has that same pop on kind of thing. It's just a lot quicker. And the reason that this is handy is if you wanna do a bunch of really quick ones in a row. So if you're trying to do like each word in a sentence as you say it on screen, I find that coming from all the way off screen, if it's all the way down at size zero, it's hard to read. Whereas if the word starts already on the screen and then just pops a little bit bigger, I find that a little bit easier. Now the third pop on text is the one where it pops on word by word. So we're gonna borrow our secure the cup. We're gonna go back into fusion and we're actually going to delete our keyframes. So we're starting fresh here. So what I want it to do is pop up secure, then pop up the, and then pop up cup. So we're gonna have to do this slightly differently. This time we're gonna actually go into transform. We're gonna change from transform characters to transform words. I'm gonna go back to text and I'm gonna right click anywhere in this text area. I'm going to add a follower and then we're gonna go over to modifiers and we're gonna to go to transform here again. I'm gonna go under transform characters and change this to words. Now under size, this is where we're going to add our keyframes. But other than that, it's going to be exactly the same. So we're gonna go uh, at the very start, I'm gonna add keyframes and change it to zero. So we're gonna go over to our timeline and go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna make this one and one. If we click our little arrows here, we can see now we've got our move. I'm gonna do the same thing, highlight them both, right click on the second one and choose ease out back cubic. So right now, all three words are coming in. You can see they're coming in slightly differently. It's not all of them kind of in one big block. They're each zooming in from their own place. And now what we want to do is we want to go back to our timing. Still under the modifiers, we're going to timing and we're going to add a delay of one. And what that will do is it'll take our move and it'll delay each word, but make the same move. So if I play that through, one more time here. So that's how we get that word by word pop on text. Now the fourth one is where we pop on character by character. Now this is gonna be very similar again. We've already got that whole follower thing set up. So all we're gonna do is change this from words to characters. I'm gonna go back and do the same thing here too. In modifier, under transform, and then all we're gonna do is Go in, set our keyframe at the start. I'm gonna go over by one, two, three, four, five. Set those, right click, ease, outback cubic. There we go. And because I still have that delay of one on here, it's kind of already doing it. So that's that one. 
And then finally, we've got our pop on text that comes from kind of the bottom. So we're starting from scratch again. We've got just our basic secure the cup, no animation. We're actually gonna do this one from the transform instead of the layout. And the reason is because they've actually separated the X and Y transform. So if I just change the X under characters here, if I just change the X, you can see that all of the letters individually get skinnier. And if we change the Y, they get shorter or taller. We're gonna set the Y to zero. So we've taken the height of that all the way down to zero. And the X, we're only gonna change to 0.5. So if we were to look at what that would look like with the Y still fully at one, this is just kind of squished in on the sides. Let's set that to zero. And then we're gonna to go to frame five. We're gonna set them both to one. And then we're going to look at our keyframes here. Right click, ease, outback, cubic. Now you've got kind of this like growing bounce. So those are the five different variations that I've got built into that text preset pack. I'll leave that link down in the description. If you wanna go pick it up, it makes it so easy to have them just sitting in your effects folder. You can drag them on, change the text, change the font, change the color, whatever you wanna do with it. It's all just like working with text, except now you've got that little animation on there. But you also know how to build it yourself if you prefer to go that way. And as always, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about how to do this or about how you can change it up or if you've got any ideas you want to share with someone and on your way down there make sure to hit that like and subscribe button hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos and check out this next one i think you'll really enjoy it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time